there is this uh, badge here, which I have, uh, you know, more than one, but it's really uh, interesting badge. Uh, it's uh, from Tokyo 64, uh, Olympic Games, and it's a badge that was given only to special delegates. Uh, I wouldn't say it's extremely rare, but it's part of a set of around 70 badges that I am the only person in the world who have the whole set. So that's what makes this badge so special. It's, uh, it's part of a very rare set. The whole set, how, how much money does it does worth? I would say around half a million dollars. 以色列人石洛米是长居在日本的一名奥运收藏家。他从1998年开始进行奥运收藏，迄今已经23年，藏品超过10万件，在收藏奥运周边产品上总花费超百万美金。奥运会期间，记者在东京见到了他。I started in '98 by start to collecting a few pins that I like, and. Then people start. I had a I had a souvenir shop, and then people started buying pins from me. And people used to pay crazy prices for some pins. And I was thinking to myself, "Wow, the people in this country, how can they be so stupid to pay such a big money for some piece of metal?" But one year passed, and I became one of those stupid people, and I started to buy pins for high price. It's like a disease. You, once you get it, it's like、uh, very difficult to cure. Shilomi said, "After 23 years of collecting, he is now the largest collector of pins in the world. He likes to collect pins and pins, and he also collects some pins and pins. He also collects some pins and pins. 他告诉记者，珍贵的奥运藏品会升值，因此有时他需要花大价钱去购买。I buy them usually in auctions and、uh, the medals as well. The badges I exchange with people and I buy. I spent in one time sixty thousand dollars. It was a an IOC session badges collection that I bought some years ago. 除了购买藏品需要烧钱，石洛米还会在世界各地的奥运会主办城市之间旅行，实地收集奥运周边。Usually I go to Olympic cities, you know, when the Olympic is held, or and、uh, I collect, I trade.、Uh, but most of the collecting is actually after the games. After the games, most of the collector are done.、Uh, when you go to collector fairs around the world, exchanges. And over there, you can find some treasures and exchange with other collectors, and this is the best way to to get nice items. 东京奥运会结束后，石洛米希望能够前往北京收藏一些冬奥会周边。他说，他也曾收集过一些中国奥组委以及2008北京奥运会的周边。对于中国生产的各种奥运周边，他很是欣赏。Hopefully, I'll I'll go to Beijing next year. Hopefully, I'll get the torch sooner or later.、Um, and、uh, I like, I like really if they do, if they'll do like they did for the Beijing Games, all kind of arts, like ceramic items, and、uh, they were very、really、impressive. I, I like the Chinese ceramic and art items related to the Olympics. 平昌冬奥会的中国体育代表团 <laughs> Very nice one. This is also a very nice pin from the Beijing、uh, Paralympics. Beijing Olympics. Oh, yes, really nice. Chinese Olympic Committee. I got it.、Uh, I have one friend in the Chinese Olympic Committee. That's Beijing 2008.、Uh, full set of the IOC session that was held in、uh, Beijing, and、uh, it's very difficult to complete a full set of that. In China, you have all the knowledge. And the technology to make the best product in the world, and some of the pins I've seen for Beijing 2008 are spectacular. Really, I've never seen before. Shilomi 告诉记者，虽然他的藏品已经具有很高的价值，但他收藏奥运周边并不是为了赚钱，而更希望感受每个藏品背后的故事，结交世界各地的朋友。Many times the stories behind the item is really interesting. Who it was belonged to, if it's a rare old item, who it was belonged to, 
the story behind the event and also one of the big pluses that I get from this hobby is the connection with the people because I would say most of my friends in the world are because of this hobby.